Hello everyone. I Scoops here. I don't really know how to explain what I have in front of me. Yeah, let's just let's just It's not showing up yet. Why aren't you there? There we go. I I just don't really I don't No, no, this is too weird. It's too weird. Fashion, you, uh, let's throw it into villager style, I like that, and then just villager clothes, there we go. There we are. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Berseria. We find ourselves here in, uh, I guess it doesn't actually sh show, is it G? Yeah, Port Zexen. Crossroads of Commerce. Uh, we're on to onward to Logres. Uh, listen to what Benwick has to say, so I'm guessing that's somebody around here. <laughs> One of these kind of things. No matter. Oops. Let's exit out of here. Let's go talk to everybody. There's a lot of people we need to talk to. <clears throat> Should be fun. Uh, if you need anything, send us Sylph J, and the Van Eltia will sail to the rescue, wherever you may be. Yeah? What if we're from inland? Not a problem. The crew will carry her if we have to. There we go. Um, so I did spend some time getting costumes, apparently. Uh, also, it was like kind of trying to figure out the equipment system, and I got it to a little degree, so I upgraded a couple of everybody's weapons. Actually, I think everybody's got an upgraded weapon at some point. Um, I also under finally understand what the mastery is, and uh, I shouldn't have been ignoring that, because it actually seems pretty useful. <laughs> hey! Alright, let's go uh, Let's go check the town out. I explored a little bit, but not too much. <sighs> the wind's kicking, and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission, why? The Kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha! Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern. That's okay. Them do just that. Not a problem. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Uh, okay, I guess so. If you think so, there, Eisen. I gotta, okay, I gotta remember the controls. It took a week off. <laughs> uh. Had a lot of stuff to do. Very stressed out at school. So I, uh, took a me week. This cat's requires 75. Oh my goodness. Well, this is why I'm so thorough when it comes to these things. Let's do it. I found a cat's! That's it. Ugh, you guys are gonna have to pay up at some point. Got some peppers? Okay, what do you have to say? Hmm, no ships have been coming from Halavis. They were all attacked by Eifried's pirates? Yeah, something like that. Okay, um, got some more items over here. I think this is gonna be a dead end, which is probably for the best. Got some rock salt, always appreciated. Never know when you're gonna start cooking. I don't think it's gonna be a while before I do, but you know. We got cats. These are the cats I wish I was rescuing. Might be a little bit more motivated if that were the case. Okay, I'm guessing I can go around? Oh, maybe not. Can I go through here? No. Oh, I thought I could finally have some fun, fun making wagers, but all forms of gambling have been banned. What a dreadfully stiff world we live in. Well, it's the Abbey's rule, isn't it? Uh, you either obey or end up a demon chow. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. I wouldn't want to eat him. Just saying. Ooh, here we go. No? Yes? Yes? There's gotta be something around here. Nope. Nope, that was a complete ruse. Oh, that's upsetting. Such a wasted space. Okay, so I'm guessing I can go. I watch over the storehouse for the Abbey. Be gone! No one is allowed inside without permission. Okay. Well, that was fun. Kind of a worth, a worthless excursion. Okay, there's a couple people I can talk to over here, though. Let's do it. Gotta get this world building. 
Ah, the Ven Val Valley is docked again. It docked here again. A bunch of odd merchants had it built. You didn't hear it from me, but some say they're actually a bunch of pirates. Ha ha ha! As though wanted outlaws could just set sail right into our ports. Interesting. So acting openly can sometimes draw less attention. That's quite the unexpected blind spot. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I won't bother talking to them yet. Crabs Ooh. are amazing, right? Oh yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. And five sets of legs. That's so many. That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's <sighs> called autotomy. And then, not long <sighs> after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh. Yeah, I don't no think way. we want to find out either. So wait, is that true about crabs? <laughs> Do they farm legs? They don't actually have to kill them? I'm guessing that's probably not, not quite not quite accurate. Getting into the crabbing business. It'll do in a pinch. Okay, whatever. What about you? I I don't know why she has this voice, but I'm sticking with it. Food has been shipped around normally now. Couldn't imagine such a thing three years ago. Really do owe the exorcist a lot for allowing such a will to exist. Good for them. Uh, I won't talk to everybody. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, he even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling. Are we talking out. like you're directly in <laughs> front of him right now? But that makes him boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> you're a funny guy, and that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. She says human with such disdain. Alrighty, uh, yeah, we can just keep going on. Um, I did collect a little bit over here, but not too bad, too, not too much, just to get to the vendor, basically. Uh, and I think there's actually a door, although what do you have to talk about? Soon I'll be able to see the savior of the world with my own two eyes. Oh dear, I feel tears welling up in them already. I hope this is worth the trip from the southern islands. I hear the ceremony is being held in the capital. Time to start moving, I guess. Ah, Senora Douchebag is coming over here, eh? Okay, so I've been in there, it's just an end, so there wasn't really much there. Talk to that dude. Oh, maybe I actually have to go talk to everybody. You hear the Abbey is building a massive temple to their super powerful god north of the Danan Hawaii? I want to go take a look, but only the cream of the Abbey are allowed anywhere near it. Hmm, who would have known the Abbey would be so selfish? Right? Right? Okay, can I go here? Benwick. Who's Benwick? We give us the center of the empires on the Abbey now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I go back here? Oh, I already grabbed that one. <laughs> I thought I talked to- oh, I s oh my god, I'm an idiot. It even shows it on the map. <laughs> I'm a dumb. Here is getting confused and lost about where to go. So I did pick up a- what's the little piece of interesting thing? A- I think it was patent- Wanderer's Ventite. Increases map movement speeds by 10%. So I'm guessing, I don't know if it means, like, walking around like this? Kinda seems a bit faster? Remember when it first clicked, it happened. Oh man, you can see that, like, a blue box around it. It's kinda funny. It's also billboarded. Interesting. Alright, let's go talk to the- talk to them. Aizen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the Outer Seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course! A map of the whole world! That's right. 
Eifried's pirates have many ambitions, one of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. A In noble fact, goal. The Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing. You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us uh -oh. where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location. Oh, cool. By using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph J. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time. And besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Boodaloo. Expedition has been added to the menu. Ah, I always like this kind of stuff in games. I don't know why. <laughs> you can now send your scout ship on voyages to explore the outer seas. You can initiate these expeditions via the dispatch command. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. I'm trying to. Okay, I can go to the Lehman Sea. Uh, these surging waters are constantly stirred by a howling tempest. Most ships that enter are lost, but sailors who... Oh, it's not going to let me actually go to the next line. Okay. Sure. Uh, explorer errors determined by your current exploration. I'll display on the upper right side of the screen. Yep, yep. I'm one and one. Now select the layman and begin the voyage. Yes. Once you initiate a voyage, the screen will display the time remaining until your ship returns. Uh, since it's your first time, the crew will break their backs <laughs> so they can fly home. Scout ship setting sail. Cool. Oh, five seconds. I see what it's trying to say. Take a look at this. We win. We win. We lost. We gained some experience. Hope they don't actually, like, get damaged and I have to, like, repair them and spend money and stuff like that. That's when these things become a pain. <laughs> During each exploration, the ship and her crew will face three battles. Uh, the number of victories will determine the items and EXP received. I got some soy sauce, some dry fish. In their explorations, the crew may uncover special rewards like recipes, new areas, and treasures. Some treasures may provide exploration skills that will make future voyages go more smoothly. When activated, these skills provide various benefits, such as increasing the amount of EXP earned and the number of items found. Well, damn! Alright, let's do it. Okay, am I gonna see? Ah, survive the journey, find new strength within themselves. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Underway, this time the ship returns to normal speed. Half an hour, okay. There we so go. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Boring. Some fish would be enough for me. Especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly! Tuna or Yellowtail or Sturgeon! You don't like fish? I don't like fish. Okay. Where do we go now? Do I still need to talk to you? Make sure the Van Elty is ready to sail. Oh, I can, now I can probably head into that field. Beautiful. Okay, let's save it up, just in case. I don't know. I don't know what. Like, what am I afraid of losing at this point? I don't know, but eh, whatever. Let's get out of this damn town. Nothing ever changes. All right, you guys are gonna let me through now, sir. <gasps> scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Right its here. Danger level has been classified as code red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a code red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a code red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. 
Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. Demons designated as Code Red by the Abbey can be found roaming the territories. Code Red demons are exceptionally strong. It's recommended you only engage them when you're sufficiently prepared. Ooh. You said you heard about Ifrit on the prison island, right? I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. We got this little, guy's a little farm boy here. <laughs> Counters in battle. If you initiate a battle, but main kind of yes, you get you know, it. Oh, from behind. Oh, I was worried, wondering if they would ever introduce this. I always assumed it would just default into the game. Start with one extra soul, and then we start with less HP. Ah, okay. Let's see, let's see. Contacts and two reminders at the same time. We'll initiate a perilous encounter, which is the following effects: HP is reduced to one quarter. Fleeing takes four times as long. Enemy reinforcements will join the battle. Oh, damn. Greater drop rates. Cool. Very well. Onward to Logris. Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh, what is it, Lafayette? Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I... pity Mogilu. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, poor Mogilu. We'll give you purpose. Don't worry. This adventure will turn us all into... I don't know. Well, well, full people. Okay, looks like we're heading up to a town of some sort. Really, nothing along here? Wow. Those walls. They're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. It's a good Humanity strategy. has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. A soulless husk. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. You know you're not going to be able to fight him just yet, right? Like, you... That much is clear. I'm guessing no. An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. You guys do not look natural in the slightest.
How could that knight even see? He's got no things. And I was wrong, they just let us right in. Oh, that means I missed that area off to the, the side. Coat. Show me your documentation. <laughs> she's uh, not she's um, not wearing the coat. <laughs> well your travel permit from the Abbey. Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. A magician? Verily, I present to you the traveling troop of huh. mischievous misfits known across the Shades land of two as worlds. Magilu's Menagerie. Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to <laughs> She's prepare. She's so mad. <laughs> you, you, you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Oh, you're gonna regret that one. Act like a dove. <laughs> Cool, cool. <laughs> Even after the night's like, please don't do that. Remember, Muggy Lou's menagerie manufactures mirth. That was just a small sample for the good citizenry of Logris. Hey, you can't advertise here. Move along. As you say. Okay, I kind of want to head back out. <laughs> Is that wrong? I want to check out that area. <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Mogilu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo coo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Coo coo. Those doves were amazing. Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the capital's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the capital? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the capital. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Luffy's. Velvet? Not you, but probably you, but somehow not you. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Let's go hunting. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to go back out there. But I also want to find a save point of some sort. <laughs> what about you? The dove trick was amazing! I'm gonna go see Bangaloo's Menagerie for sure! Cuckoo! Ugh. Don't remind me. The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? And for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The high priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the demon blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal. Y'all fuckers need the Abbey. Alright, I'm curious what this is. I... I... I want to thank you for watching over me all the time. You're quite welcome. Seeing you healthy and happy makes it all worth it. Oh, so they're not all evil. That's good.
Okay, it's gonna be something here. Oh man, just souls? I'm gonna need so many more of them. I'm guessing this is a dead end. Yeah, okay. Another voiced cutscene. Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this king sounds like quite the guy. Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Mm. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. So all of Midgand is on Artorius' side. Maybe this isn't going to be as easy as you thought. Alright, I would like to talk to the Supreme Leader. I, I hate him and he hates me. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects! May I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. Can we see him or? The ceremony started. Oh, it's on the other side to slip it. in. Now. Yeah. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon blight. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be you lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand! Artorius! 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 Actorius, 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 Actorius. None here I trust are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. Did he though? He's a murderer. He called Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachim. But he's a murderer! Uh -oh. He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. But you killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work. To the savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our shepherd. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Ooh, here we go. Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean Innominat, I will guide you to a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory! 
Hey! Yeah, don't do it now. You'll have your chance Shepherd later. Shepard Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius? Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. I'm sure you do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild. A tavern in the city, run by an old man called Baskerville. That serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Uh. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Indeed. Okay, right, I am going to quickly, efficiently, go to the washroom. I'll be right back.